Welcome to the last cat pat tip and idea for your phase two. Don't worry, there will be more tips for phase three, but this is just for phase two, the last one. And we're looking at the access part and we're looking at well, how we can get all the marks for the report. So let's try an example quickly. So the report is very easy to do. It'll take a couple of minutes and you should be able to get all these marks for your report. Um, just make sure that you hit all those marks. We want to make sure that it's a meaningful and that it's correct report. We want to do a sort, we want to do a grouping, and we want to have at least some sort of function that we are doing in the report footer or in the group footer. Now, to get valuable information, I like to put the calculation in the group footer, but let's get into it. So let's go look at our, our database. This is the one that we were working in the last few examples. Again, I can't tell you if the data is meaningful or not. You need to look at your data and find out what what information do you want to extract that's going to be meaningful for you? So let's look at this question too, where there's a yes, no, maybe, maybe I want to group according to all the yeses, all the noes and maybes, and then find what the average um, uh, for question six was for the yes, no, and maybe something along those lines. And we want to sort it according to grade, for example, let's do something along those lines. So we're going to go and create a report. We're going to use the report wizard. And we don't want all the fields, so I just want to make sure that I've got the grade. I want to make sure that we've got question two, because that's got the yes, no, and maybe part. And then any other information that we want. And we said we wanted this question six as an option as well. Obviously, you could have more. Maybe you still wanted like a question three as well. We haven't really used much of question three, but you want that as well. Obviously, you don't have too many things, but just have the, the key fields that you want. Um, and go next and then you can put your grouping in here I'll show you what to do if you don't if you forget about this grouping but we wanted to group according to the yes no maybe of question two so I'm gonna group it according to yes no maybe there um, there we go and then do you want to sort yes I want to sort it by the grade in ascending order there we go and then go next and yeah we can follow all these instructions and I'm recorded to report um, question two okay because that's the basis of question two for it okay so let's go have a look at our report when it gets created now if you have forgotten or if you forgot to do the groupings like if you wanted to make so there you can see it's grouped by maybe no and yes and you can see that it's sorted by the grade and you can see question six and question three um, we want to obviously close that view we want to go to the design view of it so there we are in the design views now first of all you can change the maybe change that give it a, a suitable report heading that these are all part of of getting that top mark and making it a nice easily readable report so compare question two so you can call it what you want um, and I'm going to space these out a little bit more just to give them a bit more space so just space them out a little bit there we go and then the headings must also be spaced out a bit so you can do that so all those type of little things little neat little tricks and maybe give it a little space there or whatever space there so for the headings room that's the headings and then this is where the data is actually going to go um, so I can do things like that. If you forgot to do the grouping or the sort, you can always click over here on the group sort and go add it over here. You can add a group because if this wasn't there, it would be option to add a group or add a sort. So you could do it over here as well. Um, so we've got our grouping, we've got our sort, and now we need to do some sort of calculation. So in the report, the overall report, we want to count how, oh, let's say we want to find the average of question six, for example. So I can insert... A text box we want to insert some sort of text box so not a button we want a text box there's a text box boom and so I can put a little block in there which is make it a bit bigger there and there the formula remember it's AVG in access not average equals the average of question six and you type out question six exactly like it is in the database if there's spaces then put square brackets around it and I'm going to call this overall average, overall average for Q6. Okay. And then I'm going to click on this and just make this move this up a bit so that it can spread out. There we go. Okay. And then you can click on it. You can obviously format it inside. So there's a simple report that actually will probably hit all the marks. That's everything we need. There's a nice little average. 
average there we go but if you want to get some actual valuable information what i like to do is in the grouping i'm going to include i'm going to click on that more option did you see it um when i clicked back up there if i go less it looks like there when i click on it i want more i want with a footer please not without a footer i want a footer so there i can see the question two footer and here i can put more text boxes i can put um an exactly the same as what we did there i can put here an average for question six so this is equals avg of question six now this seems exactly the same as the formula over there yes but it's in the grouping so therefore it'll give me the average of each individual grouping so the i'll call it grouping average uh, and you could find the max of question six or the min and you can do extra things like that so now if i view my report now i can see well for the maybes the average was 9.7 and then the no's were 11.75 and then the yeses were 10. So you can look at the averages and see maybe that's something that you can talk about in your findings. So again, some useful information that can helpful can be helpful in your phase three when we get to the actual report. That's our goal here. With the access and the Excel, what we are trying to do is to try to find information that we can talk about and say this is the trend we are finding. And we can then make assumptions based on those trends. I think it's that this trend is happening with the data because of this, this, and this. So there we go. Okay, so that's literally how easy the report is. So there we go, you've done your phase two. It'll be great if you support the channel by just subscribing or leaving a like. You don't have to turn on notifications, but just make sure you subscribe. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.